Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, the last video of patch 4.3, we're going to be talking about what are the best boots to run in patch 4.4. And the big question is Berserker Grease versus Gluttonous Grease. I've been asked many times, why do you go for Gluttonous Grease? Why do you think this is better? Why is it better than Berserker Grease? Why do you not prioritize the attack speed? And I'll talk you a little bit about the comparisons and why i go for the boots that i go for in this video now what we're going to be doing is comparing stats between berserker grease gluttonous grease and also the runes as well because the big thing is if you go for something like gluttonous grease and also with bloodthirster getting a huge buff in the next patch obviously that's going to be a the go-to item now for ad carries since you're building so much um, physical vamp anyway, you can go for Alacrity as your attack speed. Same with Berserker Grease. You know, if you go Berserker Grease, you can go for um, Bloodline. But with the stats, you can see exactly why I go for this setup and not the other one. So to take a look at this setup, so we're going to take a look at each and every single important stat. So attack damage, physical vamp, and attack speed. So the attack damage, you get 35 attack damage from Gluttonous Grease, and we get 55 attack damage from from bloodthirst so obviously this will be increased when bloodthirster gets updated in the next patch as well so it's going to be even more insane with the ad and also the attack speed but let's just say it's standard for now without the new passive so that's a total of 90 ad in terms of physical vamp we got 12 physical vamp from uh, bloodthirster and then we have seven omni vamp which also counts as physical vamp on gluttonous grease so that's 19 percent physical vamp and then the attack speed that we're going to get is a three percent attack speed from alacrity at the start and then the scaling attack speed that gets us up to 20 percent now you're gonna not gonna get that 20 percent attack speed straight away you are gonna you know maybe struggle with attack speed early game but as long as you kill minions as long as you get some takedowns you'll easily get this by the time you get into the mid game getting up to 20 percent attack speed is quite easy so that's a total of 23 percent attack speed so 90 ad 19 percent physical vamp and 23 percent attack speed now if we change a few things if we put in berserker grease if we put in uh, bloodline this is another option that people like to go for so berserker grease attack damage 18 Bloodthirster, 55, total of 73 AD. Physical Vamp, you got the 12% Physical Vamp from Bloodthirster, and then you have the extra Omni Vamp from uh, Bloodline, the 1%, and then the 8% on top of that. So you get 20% Omni Vamp, uh, Physical Vamp, sorry, which is 1% more Physical Vamp than uh, the other build. And then for your attack speed, you get the 30% attack speed from Berserker Greaves. So basically, in terms of stats, you're basically going to lose out on 18 AD that you would get from Gluttonous Grease because Gluttonous Grease plus plus Bloodthirster is 90 AD, whereas Berserker version is 73 AD. So you're going to be missing out on 17 AD. And the only real stats you're getting back is 1% physical vamp and 7% attack speed. So it's a lot better, a lot, a lot better to prioritize the 17 extra AD you get from Gluttonous Grease and also from bloodthirster rather than going for this type of build so that is why this build is a lot better gluttonous grease because it gives you so much ad you also got that's a really strange name uh <laughs> bloodthirster for the uh extra attack damage and everything as well and then also uh, also alacrity to get that little bit of extra attack speed obviously the attack speed doesn't mean too much in the early game the big reason is the attack speed is going to be a lot more beneficial as you go into the mid and the late game when you scale up that's pretty much everything i just wanted to quickly jump on here and show you the comparisons and why i go for this build and why i don't go for berserker grease as a boot, boot option even though berserker grease did get buffed it's still not worth it it's still not a great boots to go um so yeah make sure you do berserker uh, gluttonous grease make sure you do bloodthirster in the next patch patch 4.4 is very very close now to being released hopefully you're all excited as always make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you all in the next one peace Samira Janna. Oh, it's not really a great combo, to be honest with you, but... Hey, you never know.
blood. Ally slain. How'd he die? You lucky guy, baby hope. You lucky, lucky guy. In, engage, engage. Group projects are the worst. Top turret is under attack. Ah, oh, Baby Hope is so, so lucky. If I used my third ability any earlier, then probably would have been dead. Unfortunate. My mistake. Ally slain. Friendship is the Make him lose for me. <laughs> I'll try. Baby Hope's a good player. Nice, decent roam. You never really see a roam by an ADC, but it worked pretty well. is dying to a vex just keep jumping or something he's not respecting the vex like i don't get it i don't get it man i don't get it i don't get it Nice! Good plays, good plays. Wait, should I go Navori first item? I can complete it now. Fuck it. We'll go Navori first item. We'll go Navori first item. Let's go for it. I mean, I could buy it now. The, the only reason why I'm buying the voice is that I can buy the item now. So it's actually really good. I'll take it. Be fair, Vex down counters dash cam champions. Yeah, I mean, Fizz should understand that. I mean, that's just that's just the basic understanding of Vex. And Fizz should know that he just needs to farm up and not dash in. For some reason, he's just farming up and he's just dashing in it all the time. I'm just dying.
Bro, I fucked that up. Should have autoed. But like, how? <laughs> like, what is wrong with solo laners today? Like, every, like all the solo laners that, I, that I'm getting are just running it down. Like, another game where, like, my mids 1-3 and my tops 2-4. Like, what's going on? Bro, that's kind of cringe. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I fucked it up. Oh, man, I fucked up the timing. Whatever. I fucked up the timing. I'm such an idiot. Nice. Ah, uh, it's my bad. That's my bad. It's my fucking bad. That's my bad. I fucked up the timing. If I just wait there and use my E afterwards, it's fine. Like, I don't... Like, what is going on, man? One, three, two, five, top. Like... Like, they're just getting fed for fun or what? Like, what's going on here? What the fuck is this guy doing? On my way. Yeah, nice. I got one shot by Vex because this guy's fed. Nice, man. Very, very cool. Ah, whatever, man. What is wrong with this Teemo? Don't die, don't die. Nice. The darkness. Allies lane. Shut down. Now look, I'm over a thousand gold ahead ahead. Wait, how is Vex only six thousand gold? I mean my top lane is five thousand gold, so there's also that I guess. How does how would how did Vex like solo kill Fizz three times, and she's one thousand gold behind? Like what? How is that even possible? Yeah, cool, man. Timo, keep split pushing, buddy. Keep split pushing, buddy. Keep fucking split pushing, man. So, you like, it's so disgusting, man. Like, this bot lane is winning the game. Like, how?
the darkness is so last season. Danger. Just gotta keep my mental this game. Nice, good job. I'm scared that the Vex is going to come. Okay, that's fine. We're okay. Okay, I mean, I had sides of what's happening in this game. I really don't. This game is so fucking weird. I, got, I, I think that's three games in a row now. I've just had a top laner that's just been AFK in Baron lane the whole time. School's hard enough with I mean, I'm really, really strong now. I got through items. I'm incredibly strong. I, I was looking for the Penta. I flashed forward. I was looking for the Penta there. That was Penta kill. That was a Penta. I mean, I guess I'm just, I'm just too strong now. I have three items. I'm way too strong. I don't remember my two deaths this game. What are my two deaths? I shouldn't overstay here. Quickly this wave and go back. I've got water reminder now. That's huge. I mean, I'm four items. There's no way I, I lose this now. There's no way, surely. Isn't pass or fail. It's no way I use, lose this. Why am I going last item, though? Honestly, I have no idea what I'm building. Probably just shield bow. Probably just shield bow last item. I don't think I need more attack speeds. Hey, Data Stress, thank you. Thank you for gifting another sub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't see you come into the stream. I saw your comment on YouTube today. It's kind of funny. My streaming schedule is as bad as my win rate. So true. <laughs> 
What's up, Spectre? Sorry, I'm just concentrating this game. I mean, it's... it's I should not have bought this item. Can I... Gosh, I should have got Stasis or QSS. Buying this new Quiver is so pointless. Like, why is this guy taking red buff? Oh, this guy is completely trolling, man. Like, what is wrong with people and trolling today? There's so many games. <laughs> you don't have to data stress. I mean, I would have looked at it eventually. Got to keep the concentration face going. Like, Team O is just spinning, pushing, and doing nothing, man. Like, help us. Like, <sighs> oh, my God, man. It's, ah, it's my eyes, man. Like, both these players, please. It's so embarrassing to watch both of these players. Like, please, please, please. Ah. <sighs> I'm just going to stasis. Danger. On my way. Retreat. Danger. Enga enga engage. Ret Danger. This is fucking team is useless. man like like how much more do i need to carry this game I got shield bone now as well. I just don't know how much more I need to carry this game. It is a stressful. It shouldn't be this stressful. Like, I don't get it. Why is the streamer flaming my Teemo gameplay? <laughs> just because I'm a star guardian again doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Like, these two do not deserve to win this. Oh, man. It's such a stressful game when it doesn't need to be. It's such a... Uh, like, I shouldn't need to try hard that much to win this game. When we win bot lane and then, like, my both my Teemo and my Fizz just... Ah, I just... I don't know. 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 It's whatever. It's whatever. We won, I guess, in the end. 
We won in the end. We carried in the end. Recon also did pretty well. Ah, this game was tough though. 50k damage. Not bad. Not bad. 50k damage. Not bad. I don't know how this Vex got behind in gold to this Fizz. The Vex solo killed Fizz like three or four times in a row. Like, I, I don't get it. What, what the hell happened this game? And then my top laner is just, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I, whatever. We won. It's what all that matters. We won. GG's. GG's.